Welcome to this quick start video for the Impinge R420 RFID reader. This video will guide you through setting up your reader, connecting to an antenna, connecting to Impinge's item test software, and finally get you started reading RFID tags. Let's jump in. Here's our setup. In order to start reading RFID tags, you will need the Impinge R420 RFID reader, the Impinge power supply, an RFID antenna, an RFID antenna cable, an ethernet cable, RFID tags, and the item test software. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect our antenna to the Impinge R420 via this N-type mail to RPTNC mail antenna cable. If you aren't familiar with RFID antenna cables, check out our antenna cable guide via the link on screen now. I'm connecting our power supply to the R420, but I'm not quite ready to power the reader yet. So I'll just connect the reader to the adapter and leave the plug right here. Now I'll connect the Impinge R420 to my computer via an ethernet cable. Today I'm going to be using Impinge's demo software, Item Test. I created a separate video on downloading and installing the Item Test software, and the link to that video is on screen now. Once my computer is up and running, I'm ready to open Item Test. I'm going to go ahead and plug in our reader so it can begin powering up. I've already downloaded Item Test, so I'm going to go ahead and open it now. Now that we have Item Test open, click the plus icon next to Data Sources. Click on the magnifying glass next to add a data source for automatic discovery, which will usually find your Impinge reader pretty fast. If not, you can also type in your reader's host name or IP address here. If you don't know your reader's IP address, I'll walk you through that now. Open your browser. Most browsers work for this except for Microsoft Edge. Now type in https colon backslash backslash and then your reader's host name. Your reader's host name will be speedway r dash for r420 readers and then pinge dash for r700 readers, followed by the last six digits of your reader's MAC address, separated by dashes instead of colons, followed by dot local. If you don't know where to find your reader's MAC address, it is located on the side of your Impinge R420 or Impinge R700 right here. Once you type in the host name followed by .local, click enter, and you'll probably need to click enter again, and a pop-up menu should appear with the username and password field. The username is lowercase root, and the password is lowercase Impinge. Type that in and click sign in. Now you're in the reader's user interface, also called the reader's UI. Now go ahead and locate the IP address and copy it. Then go back to item test and simply paste that IP address in place of the host name. Below that, you can optionally choose to give your reader a nickname, which is a great option for a system with a few different RFID readers. The last blank asks you for the data source interface. For the R420, this should be the Impinge LLRP interface. The IoT interface option can be used for the R700 as well. Below that, click add a data source. Your menu should then close and your reader's IP IP address, host name, or your selected reader nickname will appear in the far left column. As you can see, the software allows you to toggle your reader on and off, which is convenient if you have several readers as data sources. Click inventory in the far left column and then click the play icon to start reading UHF RFID tags. Thanks for watching this quick setup video for the Impinge R420 UHF RFID reader. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos just like this one.